Hello booktube, my name is Kate and this is my channel Chapter Kate. It is the last day of the booktubeathon and the video challenge for the day is just talk about your favorite book. This is going to be kind of a quick, simple conversation, not wearing makeup, wearing the glasses to pretend that I don't look quite as blah as I feel right now. Before I get to that, I want to talk a little bit about my progress during the booktubeathon. I read my poetry book was book number one. I read Yurtle the Turtle, like half of it. I read the first book of Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little World, um, and I read like most of Howl's Moving Castle, and I read most of Marvel's. So I didn't really get through a lot of stuff because halfway through the um, week I just got kind of um, out of control with my brain, and then I got really anxious at the end of the week, and then I just dropped really low in my mood today. It's just the nature of bipolar disorder, it's just how it is. Um, but we're working through it and we're getting through it. So today I'm going to talk about my favorite book and that is Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. Um, I first read this book in 11th grade. It was an AP English class which if you don't know what that is, it is a college credit course that you take in high school um, and in that English class we learned how to write, we learned how to read critically and this is the first book that I read and looked for symbolism and looked for you know meaning beyond what was just on the surface and I think that completely changed the way I view not only literature but also movies, games, art, the world, um, my own creativity, my own creations. Um, it changed the way I looked at everything. Music. Um, so, I mean, I, this is a very short video, but um, when you have the kind of brain I have, you kind of look and you see symbolism even where it isn't. You look for meaning everywhere. You try to make meaning out of anything um, because it makes life seem like it has a little bit more value than you may have thought it had to begin with. But being able to look at the symbolism present in Slaughterhouse-Five showed me that I can look at symbolism and look at um, complexities and beauty and things that seem so simple um, and so everyday. And I think that because of that, this really did change a lot of my life. There are a lot of books that are favorite books. You know, there's Alice in Wonderland, which is amazing. There's um, the Alex Ryder series that really, you know, got me into enjoying reading. Um, there's a lot of different books that I've enjoyed over the years. However, this one probably left the most lasting impact on me. Um, just because it did change my sort of perspective for everything that I consume in life. So, Slaughterhouse-Five, if you haven't read it, you should read it. It's a classic. Honestly, memories are so subjective. Most of my memories of this are purely just connected to the feelings that I felt and certain symbolism in it, but that, but not so much the actual plot. This is basically an anti-war book. It has a lot of nonsensical sort of aspects in it. Um, it's got some time traveling. Some parts of it can be kind of hard to follow because of the nonsensical nature of it, but I've always loved that because I love to dissect it and try to find more meaning in it than might even be there, but I really do enjoy it and you should totally read it as well. I hope everyone else had an amazing booktubeathon like I had. I'm going to put my playlist of booktubeathon videos in the cards at the end and um, you can also find any other videos you might like on my channel if you have enjoyed my videos this week, which I've so enjoyed making. Um, I may not have read all the books, but I have made all the videos and I've done all the Instagram posts, so hopefully this week was at least a little bit of success for me. <laughs> I think it was. I'd consider it a little bit of a success. So. That's all I have today. If you'd like more of this junk, subscribe below. Bye! Dripping over shadows and I'm drowning in the night I feel the soldiers coming, I'm done pulling up a fight